welcome to my channel dear friends thank you for supporting me and today's video is all about Jillian Robredo's graduation day in New York University congratulations to you Jillian we are so happy and proud of you congratulations because you have reached a new milestone in your life your dad must be very proud of you in heaven and of course, your mom, VP Lenny. Congratulations once again. God bless you. Your beautiful smile, your beautiful life are waiting for you to shine bright. It's never too early or late to start to rise up and shine. Hi everyone, I'm Julian Robredo, an alumna of the Philippine Science High School main campus. Currently, I'm a senior at New York University pursuing a degree in mathematics and economics. Graduating from Pisai in 2018, I actually started college as a biomolecular science major in the School of Engineering at NYU. But with NYU's liberal arts core, I had the opportunity to take more economics classes and with my lasting love-hate relationship with math. Um, since Masai, I decided to shift to a major that would allow me to have a balance of taking applied social science classes with the support of more 
quantitative and technical classes. And I was lucky enough to transition easily during my sophomore year. Um, in my freshman year, I had the opportunity to work as a research assistant in the plant genomics lab at NYU, where I actually still work until now. So as international students in the US were allowed to work 20 hours a week on campus during the school year, which I'm really glad because um, New York's expensive and it's very much, it really helped when it came to expenses um, here in the city. And on campus, I also wanted to explore different pre-professional clubs and other more fun interests. So I've joined the International Student Council, um, Actuarial Society, and TEDx NYU. And I was also active in the Economic Development Group where I was the Vice President of Research, where honestly, a lot of the things I've learned in SDR and PSI have carried over to this role. Um, I would say this involvement was the intersection of a lot of the things um, I was interested in from economic development, policy, to research, and just analyzing data from developing countries, especially in Southeast Asia. And as much as I wanted to maximize being in NYU and NYC, um, like everywhere else during the pandemic, schools also closed down. So I, I was studying abroad from NYU London, and I had to go back to Manila and take classes remotely with a 12-hour time difference. So I was mostly waking up before dinner and sleeping after breakfast um, until December of 2020. So more than a bit less than a year ago. And of course, it was a struggle at first um, to cope with the time difference and to focus at home. Um, I think especially for me, I was used to seeing my classmates and peers in person, and I wasn't really used to being at home anymore. Um, and I think those interactions in school really burst the mood after a hard test or a long lecture. So it was definitely a hard adjustment. Um, although I tried my best to be involved in on-campus organizations during the pandemic, it was very important to have that sense of community even when you're not in school. And of course, it very much helped that it was easier to reach out to my friends in Manila, as well as other parts of the world. And it was a very comforting feeling to be with family during the pandemic. Um, I would go and study Discord calls with friends, even though we're, we don't study the same thing, um, do game nights with my family, and even do game nights with friends who are based in the U.S., just to keep in touch. Um, I think that was also the time that um, I discovered more interests, whether that would be baking bagels or banana bread, and also discover um, career prospects. So during the pandemic, I joined... Um, this current organization where I'm still on called Bridges for Enterprise. So it's a nonprofit that helps social enterprises in developing countries. And since then, so I've only started, um, I think, September of 2020. Um, I've worked with nonprofits in Uganda, Mexico, and Kenya, and mostly looking at their business models and strategies during COVID. And I have to say, this was really my most fulfilling involvement in college that I think I wouldn't have discovered Um otherwise. And I think, you know, throughout all of this, um, I carried with me what PSI has innately taught me, not just in academics, but on how to be resilient, especially in trying times. So you do good in school, you do good elsewhere. Um, you know, sabi nga nila, kahusayan ng isip at puso parate. And maraming salamat.
I'm a real young girl.